<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. We're going to get started here in about another four minutes. Give people a little bit more time to jump on. About four minutes. We're going to get started. Three more minutes, y'all. I'm going to get started. Three more minutes. Good morning, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, where is everybody? Good morning. Good morning. This is Tuesday morning. Thanks for jumping on. First, I always like to start off. Is anybody, the world was there. Does anybody not have their charts set up? If you do not, if you are not set up, put a one in the chat box. If you're not set up, put a one in the chat box. <clears throat> okay. I don't see any ones. There you go, Robert Pondexter. Okay. Mr. Pondexter, where are you? Where, where are you not set up at? What what what's the issue you are having? You can unmute yourself. Good morning, Kirk. How you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm okay. Um, I'm in the truck right now. Um, uh, but yesterday my, my issue was when I got it set up, um, I followed everything. I was on the, uh, the Zoom yesterday with Sybil, you and Sybil. And, um, I guess where I got stuck was, uh, when I set the 
MC5 when it goes to the where you know where you want it to be at the MC5 folder. Uh, it didn't um it didn't click over. I didn't even see where I had to um. She said that you have to uh do the the, the, the um undo the uh the ML the the, the DLL files. files. Yes, yes, sir. I, I didn't that I didn't see that part come up at all. Right, right here. Um, on the it should automatically check now. Um, you know, it's right on the dependencies. If everybody can see my screen, it's right on the dependencies here and the inputs dependencies here. It's the DLF out or, or you come up here to tools, options, expert advisors allow DLL. If you check it over here on the DLLs, it'll automatically check this and vice versa. Okay. Okay. No problem. All right. So when you get a chance, you can go, go check that and then let me know. Yes, sir. This, um, this one is going to, it's recorded. Right. Yes, yes, sir. All, all the Zooms are recorded. Yes, sir. They're all recorded. All right. And they'll be it'll be put on our website under past Zoom trainings. While, while we're on that subject, y'all, every one of our Zooms are recorded that you have to log into the website to see them. The, 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 the morning presentations that I do like this, that our team does, will be up under past Zoom trainings. When Eric B. does advanced trainings, it'll be in the university. It'll be under, under um, Lord, my mind just slipped me that quick. Um, <laughs> it'll be under give me one second and I'll tell you you got so much on my mind I can't remember what the tab says now hold on go to, we'll go to the website over here it'll be under at wit something like that oh yeah okay thank you AEWTT University yeah and that stands for an easier way to trade university thank you I got confused myself <laughs> that'll be all the advanced trainings and we're going to be doing a lot of um, um Eric B will be doing a lot of, uh, well, he'll be doing the Sunday market recaps or Sunday weekly outlooks. It'll also be up under that tab. Any advanced trainings will be under the AEWTT University tab. Okay. When I, okay, Caesar says, when I try to load the set files, it will take away my EA. Okay, let me show you the reason why. And hopefully, I think that's fixed on our new version. What happens is when you load the set file, it comes in. But when I loaded the set files, and you have to understand computers, um, when I loaded the set files, I loaded them off of this template here, right? Well, it has that place for your email address and your license key. Well, of course, I got to take mine out, right? So I take mine out. Once I take mine out, that leaves it blank. That leaves yours is not in there. So when you load the set file, you must come back over and enter in your email address and license key. And then once you do that, then save it. Click, I mean, don't, don't click save here. Click OK and then save the template. This is a US 30 template, so I would go to save US templates, uh, save, and I would call it my, an easier way to trade indices template, okay? So that's what that's what you need to do to that. You need to save save it to that template. So the reason it's, dis, it's disappearing is because it does not have a username and license key. I've been mean, email address and license key in it. That, that's why it's not saving, all right? All right, thanks, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. So, so get so, so put that in. If you have any other comment, you know, any problems, please let me know. Okay, everybody. Um, my developer, I was I'm up every morning with him early because he's over in a different time zone overseas. We have another version that 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 are going to be having you guys download, and this it's nothing wrong with EA, but the problem is a lot of you guys are still not getting VPSs, and you're on your you're on your home computer, and your internet connection may be unstable at times. You don't know it. You don't know it because it's running to you. But if it loses connection, which 75, 80% of computers at home lose connections every now and then, even for a millisecond, it'll mess your EA up. And you'll say, well, man, I didn't take this trade because you lost connection. And you can always tell that by looking down at the bottom in your history, in your uh, journal, uh, experts folder, and it'll tell you you lost connection or it'll give you some type of error. Okay. All right. This is, uh, all right, let me show you. This is a demo account here. Let me find, hold on, let me open this up. Toolbox. You'll come down here to where it says experts folder. Move that up some. And you'll have errors in here. Like, right, when I first shot those incorrect broker, you know, but you'll have, it, it'll say error, error. And it'll tell you what that error is. This, this is not a problem here. It'll tell you what that error is, you know, in the experts folder. And it'll, it'll tell you exactly what the, what, what the problem happened. It'll tell you internet lost connection or, Broker, not a, it'll, it'll give you an error. 
Okay. So no, it's a hundred million errors that it could be. But always look. That's the first thing I tell people. If your if your EA is not working and you're sure you got everything connected properly, you know your algo is on. That's blue. Your activate button is down there. I'm on a different account right now, y'all, because I'm doing some stuff, so I don't have my activate button. But my other accounts are running. But if your button is not here, not blue something, or I mean, if everything is there, everything looks right. First, go to your experts folder and look to see and look to see if you have uh, any errors in here. Because that's what that's what's telling you. This this folder here is telling you what your EA is doing or not doing. So always look there. All right. Um, Caesar says, do we have the new EA file in the back office? The, the set file um, is in the new load. I put the new set file in our Telegram group. Any of you guys, and I said yesterday on the Zoom, whoever's on the Zoom needed it, send me a private message, I'll send it to you. But once we upload it to the website today, you won't have to do that. You know, it, it'll automatically be there in, in your thing. So we're just trying to, we, he, my, my coder, my developer is trying diligently to try to fix any issues, even with people not using VPS. It will be so much easier, y'all, if you simply got a VPS to keep you from losing connections, keep your computer stable um, and, and everything. And, and, and a VPS is much faster in general than your home computer internet and your home computer because the, the speed of your computer matters too. If your computer is running four gigs memory, eight gigs memory, you know, and it's, and it's a, a sketchy internet connection, you're going to lose connection. Your E is not going to perform right. That's what the VPS is for. The VPS, VPS is designed for you to have, to, you know, um, internet access, high speed internet access all the time. Okay, now another thing I will, I need to say, we recommend the VPS, right? But li listen, guys, I, I I can't do this. I can't I, I can't load your VPSs for you. You know, there's 100 million YouTube videos out there for your VPS. I recommend Contabo. It's really simple. It's very simple to load. But I'm not responsible for putting your VPS up. We we are not the VPS. We are the software. You got you got to do something some things for yourself, okay? So I can't take the time. <laughs> To go out and load everybody's VPS on their computer for them, because it's not my response. It's not mine. This the software is mine. I'm responsible for the software. But there's a there's a millions of videos on YouTube how to load a VPS. Very very easy, you know. But if I'm everybody's hitting me up when we load it, it takes a lot of time for me to you know go through everybody. All right, so so we recommend that get that done. Okay, any other questions right now? Any other comments or questions before we get into training? Uh, Kurt, when you get a chance, can you go over the um, the GM, what is it called, GMT offset for like London and Frankfurt? Do we need to change anything? I know my GMT offset is two because I'm in the Eastern time zone, but for the mm -hmm. rest of the times, the start time and end time, do we leave no, those alone? I said, you leave that alone. Just click okay. true or false. Trading hours true. If you want to trade London market true, if you want to trade New York true, if you want to trade Sydney or in Tokyo. You make them true or false, whichever ones you want. Okay. So besides that, the only other thing is the GMT offset. Great. Thank you. Great. Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Comments, questions? This is the time, y'all. Um, you know, and I will say this. We got, let me see. We got Mr. Chris Dodds on. We got Mr. Eric B on. Those are a couple of our trainers. Um, we see a lot of questions going in the chat room. In, in the chat group, a lot of questions in the chat group, but, and I, I take, I'm, I, I'm vigilant myself, especially me and Eric B. We're really vigilant about looking at the names who ask a lot of questions, but never get on the Zooms. And last week, or was it last week, over the weekend, we had an issue where people were commenting, 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 and, um, but not ever on the Zooms. And so we're quick to call out people and say, hey, let's jump on the Zoom right now. And show, and um, you know, so we we if 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 you if you if you have questions, comments in the chat room, please try to get on the zooms and answer ask them because if you have a question or an issue, someone else may have that same issue and just hadn't spoke up yet. So we want people to get on. So I appreciate every one of you getting on the Zoom when you can, you know. And I know people have schedules; they work, kids, family stuff like that, you know. But that's why we do zooms every day, and the recordings, you know. Um, you know, so please, and I've had people over in the UK say different time zones like that. I, I understand that, but understand this. If you're serious, and, and I'm saying this right now because you guys are on here, but I'm saying it because I know a lot of people are going to go back and watch the replay too if they're overseas. 
if you're serious about learning this, sacrifices have to be made sometimes. Sometimes you have to stay up at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning to catch our eight, nine o'clock, sir. Uh, I'm going to say service, Lord. I'm so used to church. I click, check, check out at eight or nine o'clock Zooms. You might have to sacrifice sometimes. You know, I, I used to get up doing London sessions. They had to be at work by six or seven and be up at London sessions from three to five every morning trying to learn this stuff from, from some of our master traders years ago. You know, sometimes you got to sacrifice. You know, hey, Kurt, I saying, have a question. Yes, sir. On the new set files, remember that I believe last week we were talking about um, having to take profit of 100 pips and the stop loss of 50. Does the new yeah. Yeah. set file, does that? No, what we, what, what we decided to do, we went back to the, the original set files, smaller pips to get you profits quickly. Because the, 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 um, the, that's an, an advanced strategy one that we're doing that we're doing, um, and, and, but it takes time. And, and you know, you know, just like I do, people want to see instant profit. A lot of people don't have patience in the market. People want to see instant profit. They want to see a, they want to see the trade enter. And that's what something we were ready to go with these trades last night. Who made money last night? People want to see a trade enter and make money while they watch it. They don't want to take, because a lot of a lot of people on our, in, in our groups and stuff, you know, are, are brand new traders. So we went back to the original ones where you were making profits quickly, not as much profits as you can make with the advanced strategy. But my, I guess my theory is like this: crawl before you can walk, walk before you can run. Let's get you making some money so you can see it. And seeing is really, believe, really seeing is believe. not just on top of that, but mainly we went back to the set just so it's basic, so you can get familiar with the EA. That's really what it really boils down to. Right. You need to crawl. You need to really get the these people coming in need to realize how it works before they start chasing 50 pips. If you don't understand how to get seven pips, how are you going to understand how to control 50 pips to 100 pips? So that's why we went back to the basic settings for new people so you can just get familiar with the EA. Once you get familiar, some of you guys are advanced. Yeah, you can go ahead and. When we do the advanced trading, tra change your inputs to 50 pips, 100 pips, or whatever, because you know better. And there's nothing wrong with that. But people just coming in, we just want to keep them on the on the on the on the tricycle for, you know, we want them to crawl. So they can just get familiar instead of just throwing them in and they totally lost, which half, half the people are. So that's really the end of the day, is why we're keeping it as basic as possible. Right. So I hope and, that makes sense. And then another reason is y'all, you guys, you only had 30 days to test it. People want to see profits quickly. So give me 30 days, you know, let you see them, let you see it, take the trade right here, go down and get 10 pips or seven pips. You got money in your cart. You got money in your account, right? And you're seeing it does that 10, five, 10 times a day. You're seeing that money every single day. All right, so um, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, and like Eric says, you know, once we, once we master that and once everybody masters that, you know, it'll be, uh, it'll be gravy after that. So did anybody, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm going to show this really quick in our, in our Telegram group. This is what the EA does. I'm, I'm wondering if anybody took these trades. If there, can y'all see my Telegram group? Is everybody see, am I showing Telegram group? Got so many screens. Am I showing Telegram? Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. From Uncle Lee last night, the exact settings that are on the EA files right now. If you, if you didn't have these wins last night, you're not set up correctly. He, this, is, this, this is what he had right here. The same exact settings in the setup files. Uh, his wins. It's a small account that he started off with 18 bucks, $38 last night. You know, so he got 0 0.01 on him. You know, he's small because he found this account. But that's the EA setting that I sent out. The basic settings. Right? It's going to win more than it loses. And that's what we're talking about. We want you to get used to seeing small wins. Because small wins... You know, if you can make $38 in a night, you can make $100 in a night or $380 a night. If you can make $380 in a night, you can make $3,800 a night. It's all based off lot size. But the strategy will remain the same. Right? The strategy is going to stay the same. So, uh-huh. Someone have a question? Uh -huh. I, a question? I did take some. I, I'm just looking at my history. I did not see it. I did take some some wins last night I, while I was asleep. Believe it or not, I'm I'm surprised. I'm looking at it right now, 
One was for a dollar ninety four. The other one was two hundred and two hundred dollars and forty five oh, cents on the U S thirty and the Nas one hundred. I'm yeah, telling all you, the Nas, <clears throat> all everybody should have made money on Nas. If you got Nas and U S thirty on your thing, everybody should have made money on that because all of them dropped for sales last night. Look at it. So, this is where we were. And, see, and while we and while we own this and while we own this and again, like like I said, I pay attention to the chat. Anybody, because we always get it out the chat. I'm more direct, guys. I'm not one. I'm old school. I don't get into typing letters back and forth. I'm I'm, I'm too old for that. So with that said, anybody up here did not EA didn't take a trade. You still lost. Your EA is not doing anything because really this is what the trade is about. And I'm on every training, and it's amazing how we get on these trainings. Nobody says anything. Then when we get off, we got a thousand questions. Yep. <laughs> My EA don't work. I don't know. <laughs> yep. But yep. when we get up here, nobody says anything. And this is what it's all about. This is all about helping you guys, guys. So if yep. your EA didn't work or you didn't take a trade or you don't know if it took a trade, here we go. Let's roll. Y'all, you're leaving money right. on the cable by not talking. <laughs> you're leaving money. And you got a message. Angela says she downloaded the EA last night. She made $38.06. But I think that's the same thing Uncle Lee made, ain't it? Well, look. Yeah, Angela, <laughs> okay. Angela, you know, Angela's going to do that because Angela knows me. That's why. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> Angela said in the chat she made $38.06. Look at what Uncle Lee made. $38.06. The EA is consistent. If you don't have it on, you're not making money. You know, so we need you to ask your questions to get everything right so that $38.06 can become $380.06. You know, hey, yes. Hey, Kirk, it's Bob again. Yes, sir. Um, I have a question. It's uh, it's about the carbon capital, but I mean, I can um, I can get you uh, answer the Zoom or whatever. You want to I can barely hear you, man. Yeah, so I'm in the truck. I'll I'll chat. I'll put it in the chat. I'll put it in the chat. Okay, put it in the chat. Yeah. All right. Listen, y'all. Look, this right here. This is the reason. This is what what is this? This is US 30. That's US 30 last night. You see US 30, right? You took our trade right here. If you have the set files that I sent out, you'll notice that we have MA cross true. We have trend filter true, flat market false. If your trend filter was set, some people I've seen have their trend filter set to false, not, not a default setting. Your trade would have taken this one. You may have lost. It may, that might be seven pips. I don't know. I can't really tell. It may, you may be close. I want you trading with the trend. You would have took this trade. That one wick is, would have hit you in profit. Take profit right there. All right? But All right. I'm, I'm, very, uh, I'm very slow, Kurt. So, you know, I, I'm one of those that I was slow in the class. So, it, it, hey, can everybody say, did they, was, did it, who up here took was in the NAS? the US 30 and all that. Cause everybody should, if you got your EA work and, 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 and if I'm correctly right, correct, Kurt, right? Everybody should have been in that, those trades, correct for a second. Everybody right? should have been in those trades. So who, was, who wasn't who was in those? So if you wasn't, we need to check your EA. Everybody speak up. Cause you left, I made a lot of money last night. That's all I can tell you. I'm, I'm drinking a cup of coffee smiling, so. <laughs> I tell you, I wish this would have been a live account right now. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm all I'm gonna you. tell you. I'm smiling. Okay, so we got, I'll, you know, we I'm got just Ms. trying Kim. to help you guys get there. I got Kim Merkin in the chat. She says she can't uh, can't get the audio to work, so she has to type. Um, she has her EA set up for two days ago. Have not seen a single trade, but she sees many errors on her experts and journal. Okay, can you Let's share your a screen? Look at it. Good job. Let's look at it. Can What's you up? share your screen? Just let me know if you can share. You can type in the chat if you can share your screen. It, this is what we need to do whenever you, and I'll say this to everybody, when you're on my Zooms, y'all, I don't want people coming to the, I'm, I'm not, no, God, well, let me say this. I know some people are working, some people can't, but when you come to the Zooms, if at all possible, if at all possible, be on the computer where we can, because if you have an issue, there's nothing I can do if you're on a cell phone or if you're, or if you're out, at, out and about and not at your computer. I can't fix anything. I have to see it. That's what these Zooms are for. You know, so can you can you share your screen, Ms. Merkin? Uh, 
Um, I know she said she doesn't have a microphone. So just type in the chat if you can, or just go ahead and share your screen. I got it set for you to share. This is the only way we can fix these problems is if we see it because everybody's making money. Okay, are you there, Ms. Murky? Okay, we got to keep going. We have to keep going. We can't, we can't um, wait. If, if you're there, send me a message and share. If not, we're gonna we're gonna get back. And yes, we just have to. Okay, so this is US 30. Took that trade, right? Took, took your profit on this candle right here. The advanced training that Eric was talking about that we're gonna be doing is gonna teach you how to stay in that trade and come on down and get more. But you got to crawl before you can walk. Same thing with Nas. Same issue. Same thing. SPX. Same thing. If you win, you should have profited on all three of those. Um, you also profited on GN, I think. I got to go back and look. Yeah, GN profited. Where's GN? Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Not GN. Y'all don't have GN on yours. Um, but the US 30 and those should have profited. You might have lost EA. But remember, we don't win every one. We don't win every one, right? Um, and I don't see why. Well, it probably pulled back down to our stop loss here. But anyway, those three trades, all three of them rolled together, and that's why we that's why we put them all three on. So if it's in one, it's in all three. So everybody should have got that. Anybody have any questions or comments about this? Anything? I took small profit on EA. Okay. Well, I, I think that I had my set up as, for a bigger stop loss. So, I mean, um, bigger take profit. So, yeah. But that's good. And that, see, that's that's why we want people to use the basic settings so you can get used to seeing this thing winning. Everybody won last night, you know. And and if 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 it's, if that's consistent, if you're consistently doing that, you know, it's, it's going to show you that everything works. Again, I have another version we're going to have you download today that's going to be fixing a couple of these activation issues that you guys are having. So we're trying to, we're working every day, y'all, to make sure this thing is, is, uh, and, and with, you know, with your guys helping, you know, pointing out things, we're going to make it 100% best, 100%, you know, but we think it's there now. Now the issues that we're working on are issues that because people don't want to use VPS or haven't used VPS yet, and we're trying to fix those for people. But does anybody have any comments or questions? The bottom line of our EA is if you're trading with the trend, Nine or 75 percent of the time, gonna win that trade. Let's go back and look. I can't stand that. Let's go back and look at trading with the trend, y'all. Let's go back a few, few weeks. These are all the trades that the EA would take in trading with the trend. Let's start right here. Let's just start right on the first break, right here. All right, if we're trading with the trend, right? Got here on US on SPX 500, we would have won that trade. We're below the 200, we definitely would have got seven pips. Next trade, we're above the 200. We're not have taken that. We're taking this one. We definitely got it, right? And I'm just showing you guys, this is what you've been waking up to. Definitely would have got it. Definitely would have got it. Might not have got it here. Might not have got it here, but you didn't lose much. Definitely got it money back there. Got it back there. Got it back there. No trades here. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't have got it there. No trade there because it's above the trend. Would have got it there. Would have got it there. Uh, may not have got it there. Would have got it here. Eventually, would have got it over here. Would have got it here below. Would have got it here. Would have got it here. Would have got it here on this candle. Would have got it there. There. May not have got it there. I don't think we got it. Might be a couple of pips short there. Would have got it here. Would have got it here. It's below, so we wouldn't taking that trade. May may have got it there. I don't know. It might be seven. Would have got it here because that's going up there. Yep. Would it, from here, would have got it here. 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 So as you see, it's a lot more wins than losses. A lot more. Now imagine all those ones I said would have got it. Imagine now you're taking them at 0.5, $5 a pip or something. 
Then you're looking at the accounts, you know, like what Eric put in this June. You know, you're looking at that type of money. But we got to get you making money to build your account up. And again, you know, even with the affiliate system, the more people you refer, you take that affiliate money, throw it in your trading account. And now you're trading at bigger lot sizes because now you're getting all these trades. Now, this is just SPX 500. It would have been the same trades on US 30 NAS. So you just tripled, pretty much tripled the account. Right? So that's where you're getting. You, we want you we want you definitely trading with the trend. And as you get better, you can change if you don't want to. Because a lot of times, sometimes you can get seven pips against the trend. There's a lot of times I'm against the trend. That went seven pips. Going to get it. Um, you know, me right there. I know it's a lot of that. This is congestion right here. But see, and then as, as we go, we, we're probably going to start now, y'all, to turn on the flat filter. I'm going to I'm going to talk with the developer and see when the good time to turn the flat filter on and put the flat filter to true. What that does is that keeps you from trading in this right here, these small little candles, and, and there's no volume. That means the market is not moving. You don't want to be in these things because it'll keep you from doing this and not getting, keep you from, you know, not, you know, getting ca caught up in that stuff and only trade when the market's like this. I'll find out. Um, we got another question. Hey, Kurt. Yeah. Someone wants to see you what the trades, what trades could have been taken on gold. Yeah, that's what I was just trades. looking at. Please, can you show All gold right. chart trades? Gold chart. I ain't even put this one on here. All right. We trading with the trade. Hate that thing. We trading with the trade. Let's just start back over right here. Okay. Current time. Trading with the trend. If we were trading against the trend, we still would have got seven on this one. And see, you can trade against the trend a lot of times on the volatile pairs indices and gold because they move so fast. That's that freight train that we were talking about, right? But look, let's just trade with the trend. Would have got it. Uh, we wouldn't have got it here. We wouldn't have got it here. Oh, that's two losses right there. But that's okay. And that's because, you know, look, right now, prices are starting to kind of go sideways. When you start seeing them crossing back, crossing back, crossing back, starting to move kind of sideways. So, yeah, you would you would have got that one. You wouldn't have got that one. wouldn't have got that one. So, right now, gold is, you know, and, and that's, Gold is a is a very, I don't know, it, it stays with the two hundred. It stays with that two hundred there. So um, you wouldn't have gotten it unless you were trading against the trend. With trading with the, against trend, you would have got that one. You definitely would have got that one. And this is a time you would have got that one. You would have got that one. Yep. So this would have been a good time to trade even against the trend with gold. You'd have won more trading against the trend than you would trading with the trend. But and I wanna and I wanna put something on that, guys, and that's the advanced trading right. because I trade, I take every cross. I got my trim filter and trim everything on false. I want, I want to take every trade, but that's event advanced when you guys get familiar with it. Kurt is one, you know, we want you guys to go with the trend and do all that. And once you get familiar, then like some of those losses, you would even got back because you would have been taking every cross. Cause basically every cross that, that, that it takes, uh, um, it's a trade for me, but I know what I'm doing. And so there's some more people here knowing this. I'm not the only one. There's some other traders up here, but that's that advanced uh, trading uh, training that we'll be giving you guys. And as you can so, see, going through it, trading against the trend, y'all look. By, I mean, a lot of times you're gonna win it. Go, that's a win. That's a win. That's a win. That's eventually is a win against the trend. A win against the trend. A win. Against the trend, a win. Against the trend, that candle goes up. That's seven pips, a like win. This one lost here because that's candle here and it immediately came back. And then that's that's one loss. A win, a win, a win, a win, a win, a win, a win. You know, so trading against the trend with gold, like I said, gold and indices. Now, now, you see why, now you see why I trade. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's winning every time. You might lose one or two out of ten. That's like this one here's a that's a loss because it's on this candle here and then pull back. Loss, but it's a win, a win. Then you got a loss, a win, a loss, a win. You know, so you can trade if, if, if with, with right now, if you wanted to with gold, if you're using the, the default template, which the trend filter set to true, you could turn that to false if you wanted to, but stay with seven pips. Don't say I'm going to turn it to false and I'm going for 100 pips because then you're going you're gonna to take your odds down, way down. But you'll get seven to ten almost every time, almost every time. 
against the Phillies. But I have to set the thing up very conservative. I want it to be set up to where, you know, experienced traders say trade with the trend. You know, you do what you want to do. But as you can see, trading against the trend is going to win a lot of times, especially seven to 10 pips on go. And, and that, you know, you see it's taking more trades, right? So anybody else have any comments or questions? Okay, please. When you say seven pips, you mean USD? When you say seven pips, you mean USD 0.70 of gold price movement, like 70 cents, or is that $7 move in gold price, like entry? Okay, seven pips will be 1800, will be, yeah, will be 1800 to 1807. And the, the, the price will be whatever you got the lot size set at. But the, I don't think the dollar, the, the dollar is not exact on gold. Um, so at, at, at one pip, let's say at 10 pips at $1, it's not $10 on gold. I think it's only like $7.80 uh, $7 or something like that. It's a difference in the price. But um, but yeah, your theory is right. Seven pips would be 1800 to 1807 So that's all you're trying to get, seven pips. Everybody got it? On gold, TP is 70 or seven. On gold, TP is seven. But you have to have a, on the settings, let's see, I'm going to go, yeah. On the settings, don't y'all don't let, don't let this confuse you. On the settings, it's seventy. I know it says in pips, but because of the broker, the setting is seventy. So just leave it like that. That's seven pips right here. Seven seven point zero. Same as on the indices, you add two zeros, and this is on carbon capital. Two zeros. That's seven pips. I don't know what it is on FX Choice or or I see markets or or some other ones. You have to check with their broker and find out what their 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 thing is. You go uh, uh where is it at? Um, symbols right here, and it tells you it tells you uh, contract size. So on US. On SPX 500, the contract size is two zeros, All right? So we add two zeros. Tick, uh, the the, the uh, tick value, the dollar amount, 0.1, lowest you can go. So you go to, you go to the, 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 the uh, symbols chat, or I guess it's still right there too, yep, right there, yeah. And pick whatever pair, pick whatever pair you got. All right, anybody else got a question? Somebody sleep. Man, I think somebody, somebody fell asleep. Went to sleep. Somebody ain't going to sleep on me. <laughs> hey, yeah. It's sleep. Somebody, hey, I, 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 hey, I know his EA ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> so his EA ain't working. He going to be the main one in the chat. Hey, y'all, mine ain't working. We, talk, we talking about making money, and we boring somebody. <laughs> That's hey, gone, Kirk, this, hi, Kirk. This is Valerie hey, again. Valerie. Um, I still don't have mine. Correct. I don't think I did download and unzip the new set files. I'm just not sure it's on the charts. I, I don't know. Can you share your screen? Sure. <clears throat> okay. Uh, give me control. Okay, you're saying okay. And what was your question again? Because I see it somewhere. Okay. okay, I said that 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 was my question. I said I did download it and unzip the new files. I just wasn't sure it's on there because I, you know, I don't know, you know, what I was looking at. Okay, this is what. Uh, okay, we took crypto off, so let's get okay. rid of BTC and let's get rid of e um, Ethereum and. Did it go? Yes, yeah, go. Okay, one, two, three. E A E U G K. And go. Okay, and we inserted. Uh... <laughs> All right, uh... y'all stop. Y'all stop now. Stop. Don't get me started. Don't get me started laughing. <laughs> Yo, I think it's bless. It's, it may be bless. <laughs> it may be bless. I wouldn't die. I wouldn't die over here snoring on us. 
All right. We added um, SPX 500. Well, actually, you know, we didn't. We, we put it on the thing. So just don't worry about it. Well, yeah, we did because okay. we said, we said uh, uh, US 500 on the original. I can't remember. But anyway, don't worry about it. Okay. okay. So you go, you're going to go it over here. What you would do is you would go to load. And wherever your wherever your uh wh wherever you put your set files on your computer, you load that set file and then you save that template. Let me let's scroll down. Nope, you don't have a loader right because it's not seven hundred the new on the new one that we sent out. Um, and maybe it's because you didn't get the get the. I'm gonna send you something in um Telegram and like I said this. She has 700 on hers, y'all, and that was a mistake that I had put on the set files in the original. So she has it right, but we also sent out, everybody know who was on the Zoom a couple of days ago, we also sent out a new set file in the Zoom and in Telegram we said, please update to this. Now, the new file that's going to be updated to the website today will be corrected. But right now, Valerie, I'm going to send you, I got to find you and tell you, I'm going to send you the new. I, I have a new one that you sent out just the other day. Yeah, that's, and I think that's not the one. Um, okay. It's this one we sent out yesterday. I forgot okay. to change gold on it, um, and I called it. Here we go, set file. And now, you're saying and the new file that we're supposed to download today is the new EA. Right. It's going to be on the web. It'll be on the website today, right? But okay. I'll let you know. Don't do anything until I let you people know. I put a message in the group. And yeah. what I said, what that's going to do is that's going to fix the gold, uh, the extra zero. It's also going to fix the activations that people are having. So yeah, 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 Valerie, you're set up properly. Okay. Just, just don't go. Come on down here right now. Change that to seven zero, and then you save it. Um, okay. The rest, the rest of them. Go, go ahead and get her activated, Kurt, so Valerie yeah. can make some money. Go ahead and okay. look her up. All right. <laughs> we also changed this on on the oh, another thing, y'all. We also changed the can to look at to one closed. Just to be conservative. I know some people want to get in the trade early, but we change it to be conservative because what we've seen a few times, and this is to be, we'll change it to zero once you get on the advanced training and you understand why. But for, so we're going to change that to one on all of yours, Valerie. We change that to one on all of them. What it does is, what it what it does is um is price crosses here, right? It will emit at zero, it will immediately put you in the trade as soon as price crosses. But look right here. This candle finished and then retrace back up, you know. So, <laughs> what is that going through? Oh, so we we want. I mean, this is not a good example of one, but what happens is you can't see you, it, because these moving averages lag. You can't see it. Where's your two hundred? Oh, okay. You can't see it. So, because what this could have done, let's just say right here, this black crossed over. Now we see it, but sometimes it'll cross over. The arrow will show up. Because these arrows repaint, right? Because moving averages right. lag. So the moving average came down, the arrow will paint. At, at, when it's on zero forming, it'll go ahead and put you in that trade right then because it detected the moving average crossing. But what happens, this candle, what if this candle right here retraced back up higher, that moving average is going to turn up and uncross. Mm -hmm. This white, this white arrow would disappear. And then people are saying, Well, my thing put me in a trade and the arrow didn't cross, the moving average mm -hmm. didn't cross. It did cross. You just don't see it because it crossed back. So that's throwing mm -hmm. some people off. So right. until you get better at understanding that the, this crossed, and, and you can you can be watching. So like on this candle here, watch it. Soon, this black is going to cross over. We're on this current candle. That black can cross over. And you can be sitting here watching it. The white arrow will show up. And this is getting close. The white arrow will show up. Then two minutes later or a minute later, you look, my arrow's gone. And now it's back again. Well, it's gone. It's back. Until this candle closes and finishes, mm -hmm. we'll know if that white arrow is solid. So that's what be zero and one. Zero means I don't care. As soon as it crosses, put me in the trade. Now, a lot of times that'll put you in the trade early, like on this one right here. It crossed, right? It put you in the trade. Wait, as soon as it put you in the trade down here, you got in early. You got in right here and got all the way up here. But on one, with it, with, with it set to one, it has to wait for this whole candle to be finished. Look what happens. See, as soon as, as soon as this candle finishes right here, right, it closes right here, wicks up, and then comes back down and closes. 
Now we know this arrow is permanent because this candle starts. So it puts you in on this candle. What does it immediately do? Pulls back on you. So as soon as you get in, it drops 16 pip, 17 pip. Now mm -hmm. it does turn around, but it dropped. So some people are saying, no, nah, man, I, I'll take the chance. I, like Eric says, he'll take the chance, get in early because he's going to win. You're going to win more of them getting in early than you lose. You're going to lose some of them. Like I say, it's gonna, you're going to lose some of them. But overall, it's all, everybody got in mind here, it's all about the overall picture. I don't worry about one day worth of trading or even, or even a week worth of trading. I worry about at the end of the month, did I win more than I lost? Because that's the same thought about your 401ks. You don't look at your 401k at your job every day. If you did, you see it lost $500 a day. It made $1,000 yesterday. It lost $300 a day. But at the end of the month, am I stable with it? That's what you got to do trading. When people get so emotionally involved every single day, well, I've just lost one trade. Man, I lost two in a row. They're ready to throw the computer in the trash. Right. You know, so you got to take the emotions out. So, yeah, if you put it on zero, just, but I, it, it just understand that's more of an advance. Because you're gonna you're gonna put it on zero, it's gonna go up, put you in the trade, then that's gonna repaint. The arrow's gonna disappear. Now you're in the chat room talking about my thing throwing me in trades, they ain't even got no cross. Because you don't understand how, and I, when I say you, I'm talking about everybody. I'm just, in general, y'all. I'm not talking to you guys. I'm saying in general. Because you don't understand how it works that moving averages lag and that these repaint. You're saying the EAS broke. It's not broke. You got it on advanced settings, you don't know how they work. Right. The EA is going to do what you tell it to do. It's a computer program. It can't be bad unless the code is written wrong. Well, too many people making too much money for the code to be written wrong. Right. It's just people have to understand how it works. And that's what we say. you got to get on these Zooms because I guarantee you, everybody on the Zoom right now did not know that. <coughs> I just told everybody on the Zoom, minus Eric, I know he knew it, but everybody else on, and Chris knew it, but everybody else on the Zoom probably didn't know that. You're saying, my thing took a trade right here for a buy, but it ain't got no cross. But it set on zero. So I had to go back and make everything conservative. So I put everybody on one right here on candle to look at forming zero one close, meaning I don't want it to enter the trade until that candle closed. So I need, that's on the new set files. You can change it if you want, but just understand if you take a trade and it goes against you and you say, I don't have an arrow there, price went up, but then price re rejected on you and went the other way. Right. Yep. Okay. Hey, oh, I forgot. I Florence a question on knows, that. Yeah. Yeah. Florence, I didn't see Florence. I mean, she knows price repaints, right? I mean, price re retraces. The arrows will repaint, and, and people get confused looking at these moving averages. Well, this this black one right here, y'all, is our thirteen moving average. What that? And who, does anybody on here not know what moving averages are? If you don't know what a moving average is, put a five in the chat box. If you have no idea what a moving average is and what it represents, some of you might know what it is but you really don't know what it represents. Put a five in the chat box for me. If you don't know what it represents, put a five in the chat box. So everybody knows what it means. Now I know we got some people on here that don't, and you're just afraid to show, to, to, to say it, and you know I'm gonna answer the question so you don't have to know. I got that. Yes, a, a moving average represents the average movement of the candles. So a 13 moving average represents the last, from right here represents the movement of the last 13 candles. The 21 right here represents the movement of the last are 21. You, are you trying to show your screen or could you still on Valerie's? Well, that's, that's fine. I'm sh Okay, well, yeah, let me show mine. No, it ain't fine because I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm, well, I got it, Kirk. I'm going to stop sharing. Yeah, okay. Let me share my screen. All right. All right, we're right here. I'm moving average. This, this black, this black represents the movement of the last from, from right here, anywhere in the screen, this black represents the movement of the last 13 candles, because that's a 13 moving average. The 21 represents the movement of the last 21 candles. So if I was to put, if I was to put a one moving average on, of course, it's going to do what? It's going to follow the candles exactly, because it's close to real, it's following the candles exactly. So the more, the bigger the number, the farther away it, the represent. So this 200 right here represents the movement of the last 200 candles. From right here, this represents the movement of the last 200 candles. So we crawl, we count back 200 candles. It's 125, 150, we can't get it. So now we get the last 200 candles 
from roughly right here, 245. So from right here, this this right here, right here. So that's saying all these candles, the average movement of all these candles, up, down, up, down, looks like this slope right here, which is what? Going down. Well, your candles are going down, came up, 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 down. but that's the average. So what we, what we, let me get this other one off here, this white one off here, it's bothering me. <clears throat> so if that moving average does that, if they lag like that and price cross, my 13 crossed over my 21 and puts an arrow up here, that's because it's counting the last 13 move averages. It has to wait okay. for 13 candles before it can paint that Dumb. one. Dumb. It has to wait 13 candles before it can paint that one. So by the time it waits 13 <laughs> candles, price don't move again. All right, we got some background. Let me make sure. You know, if you got if you don't have any background noise, let me um, you can unmute. But um, so so we so we can see this this price can go up, and, and we we get an arrow. But then after it finished calculating, price done moved again. It came down. Now the arrow disappears. So you have to understand the EA is very technical, and that's why we say we want people to just use the basics right now. Don't go in trying to figure out the mechanics of everything. Let's learn the basics to put money in your pocket, like everybody made last night. Let's learn the basics of it last night. I mean, from for making money, and then as we go along, we'll, we'll get more. Because see, if you're using the advanced strategies, look at US thirty. <clears throat> if you were in with Eric, look at that. Bam! Now you you up, and we'll keep it a trust up. Now you up. Oh, oh I'm I'm out of that. I already oh, took my money. I'm done. Five hundred twenty-one pips <laughs> right there. One dollar, one dollar. That's five hundred twenty-one dollars. But you're trading with the trend, right? And we're gonna start when we're gonna advance. We're gonna start teaching, you know, how to stay in trades longer, how to determine to stay in trades longer. The basic concept of staying in trades longer is, if it's in a trend, you trade it until that trend makes you change, until it changes. You're gonna keep selling, like he said uh, yesterday on the advanced training. You're gonna keep selling this until it makes you buy it. And right now, it's telling you to sell it. You're gonna lose, you're gonna eventually lose. You might have 10 wins. Say, I'm gonna sell it, sell it, sell it, keep selling. It let me get 10 wins before I lost the last one when it turned around. Well, I'll take those 10 wins over that one loss. Then I turn around and do the opposite way. That's the that's the overall concept. Sell it until it makes you buy it, buy it till it makes you sell it. <clears throat> but right now, let's just get some money in people's pockets. Everybody got anybody got any questions, comments? So do we feel that the um 200 trend on the h1 is enough like meaning you don't consider the trend on the higher time frame the h4 of the daily no you I mean the higher the time frame the better the trend of course you know but again again we want to get people making money quickly um you know but no you you four hour time frame i didn't hey could you could i, I want to make sure i understood your question guys could you re, i, I kind of lost me on that could you repeat that I no make sure it's I just um in the past i've well, always um did my mm -hmm. trend bias from the h4 or the daily but i see with this one we're only doing the bias based off of the h1 it's not a bias. Right, that's be, that is because that really has nothing it does, but it doesn't. I, I, that's why I want to make sure the eight, the <laughs> higher time frame is when you basically break it down. Sweet. You know, if you look, if you just chart market going with the trend, you're looking for higher time frame to establish zones and stronger zones. Correct. The EA is basically just automatically take right. putting you in trends. Makes sense. It's putting you in trades. But for you, for us, if I'm gonna break it down, you're right. I'm gonna break it down from the daily four hour to <laughs> find my my zones personally. So you're right. correct, but the EA automatically is going to trade whatever time frame. You can put the EA on 15 minutes. Look at that, man. Look at that drop. It it's going to put you on a one-hour trade what it thinks. Does that yeah. make sense? Yes, thank you. And plus, yeah. I'm thinking um, probably really is yeah, overkill yeah. because we're only taking seven to ten pips. So yeah, yeah, there's yeah, really yeah. no need to look at the higher time frame if you're not going to be in the trade. Yes, true. Or same <laughs> trade. Yeah. Most yeah, thank you. That, that, that'll come yeah. later, right? But we want to be basic for the new people. But yeah, like Eric said, the EA don't care what time frame. We're going to take it based on the hour here. We can take it based on the 30 minute. I wouldn't go any lower than the 30 minute, you know, with, with well, on indices I could, you know, but the Forex pair step on the 30 in the hour, but, but, you know, we could have really done it anywhere, but the EA basically trades what it sees, the time frame, the, the, the movement that it sees. Anybody else? Any questions? So I hope everybody on here is set up and their EAs are going. Um, 
and everything because you know it as you see the, the EA works the EA definitely works you know it's just it stops working when here's the thing it stops working when I see people starting to do their own thing with it start to say oh, I'm gonna test this that the other this that and the other you know it's kind of like it stops working until you so if, it, if you want to make changes y'all I reckon if you make changes from our default always do it in demo first don't do it on a live account always do it on demo <clears throat> you know and find out what what works for you best. Well, so I say, say again. Okay, all right. I say, um, you know, on forex pairs, on forex pairs, stick with the trend. On you on 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 indices and gold. Yes, you can go against the trend if you if you understand it. Always stick with candle closed. Candle closed. Oh, oh that's right here. Candle closed because we got candle closed on price cross too. Candle closed <clears throat> until you understand the risk of candle open, right? Now, one thing we have not been into right now that I just noticed that we haven't, anybody, we haven't tried price cross. That's going to be more advanced. Instead of using the MA crosses, we use price cross. We only use one MA, right? We'll get into that later. We're not even going to go through there, but I just want y'all to see if we have the ability to do that. Have price cross. All right. So, anybody have any comments or questions? Any more questions? Everybody set up and trading, okay? So you're ready to make money. <laughs> All right, okay, y'all. Well, that's going to do it for us today, this morning. Next training Zoom is tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, this Zoom will be uploaded, of course, and be on our website within the next couple of hours. Presentation will Presentation. be tonight as well. Presentation will be tonight after our, our uh, training at 8 p.m., presentation at 9 p.m., Invite your guests, invite your guests. It's a great, great way, y'all, to build your affiliate income. Your affiliate income can finance your trading. There's nothing better than not having to take money out your pocket and put in your trading account. Some, you know, you, you, you making money with other people, of other people's money, right? So build your affiliate program, get that affiliate program money and, um, and, and put it in your trading account. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this morning. Uh, thank you. Great job, Mr. Eric B. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, this Zoom is officially over. Appreciate you, Kirk. Thank you. Yes, thank sir. You. Uh huh. Goodbye.